so hello everyone so today i chose to make a video about the blockchain explorer so you may have heard that pi total supply is a hundred billion tokens is that true and how can you verify that for yourself so you're going to go to the blockchain explorer you can access that through the pipe browser or your normal browser if you go to the link that i'm going to put up there so when you go to the blockchain explorer on the web either in your pi browser or in your any in any preferred browser i'm using microsoft edge on this one i don't have microsoft i don't have the pi browser on my laptop so when you go to the blockchain explorer for the Pi network, you see these main net matrices. And one of them is the total migrated mining reward. The total migrated mining rewards. These are the rewards that have been, one, they have been mined, and two, they have been successfully migrated. It means the owners of these rewards have passed their KYC and they have migrated their rewards to the enclosed mainnet. So the, the current locked mining rewards locking on the Pi network is like staking. You lock your rewards for a given time and you can access them after a given time so approximately 70 percent of the total migrated mining rewards have been locked so that's a good thing for the community it shows that the pi ecosystem is a strong community it's not just like any meme coin something its total supply may suggest because usually bitcoin has only 21 million coins but pi coins they, their total supply is a hundred billion so you may think pi is just like any other meme coin that's not going to be strong it's not going to have a strong value per coin but its community suggests otherwise because almost 70% of the total mined and migrated rewards have been locked. So let us continue. Remember the blockchain, we have blocks. This is, you can use the analogy for tarrying. If you know how to tarry, you can count four sticks, then the fourth stick you cross that's one block count that one block so each block has the total number of transactions that can happen on it so these are the accounts they are represented by the four, the first four digits when you press a cursor on it you can see the full public address that's the full public address and you can see what this address has done on the block so these are the last transactions on the network on the turn the pi network they are called block they are called operations but these are transactions but they are called operations so you can see how that these accounts are paying some pi to the accounts that are listed in the transaction option and you here you can see the time at which that transaction occurred I'm not refreshing the page, so it's not showing the exact the exact time that transaction occurred. So we have seen that we have transactions. Let us see if you can find any interesting transaction. So you can see that this account has paid 177 pi to that other address. If you are not getting any and you can find something for 200 here it's really interesting 
navigating the the blockchain so we have blocks and now this is what they call a block and this is the latest block we are on we are mining right now so i'm going to go ahead and click on these blocks one of them such that i can show you so this is the block so when you click on the block it takes you direct so a block has different attributes or properties it contained one is time the time at which that block was mimed so you can see the time they are up is the first attribute then we have the hash the hash is very important in the blockchain technology it uh, it helps in mining it gets a bit technical i'm not going to go deep um, i don't know much but also i just want to keep it simple so let me preserve the detail you know but the hash is very important and here on the pi blockchain we can see other properties or attributes of a block in the pi blockchain so the block has time hash uh, it has a and this is its number it has that's that's the, the number of the block we are mining right now and it has time hash it has the privy hash and uh, the privy hash is like the previous hash these are the number of operations on this block these are the number of failed operations and the maximum transactions per block so we have 1000 transactions per block but we can see that we only have one operation that has took place or if you look down we can see that the number of total transactions is one so yeah this block is still virgin it has not it still has a lot of transactions to be registered on it before it's 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 fully utilized remember the maximum transaction at uh, 1000 per block in the more properties you can look on the other side we have the best fee we have the best reserve i'm not going to go into details you can search or comment if you want me to make a detailed video about this we have the fee pool but most importantly is the total coins so the total pi coins of the block on the pi blockchain are a hundred billion so the total coins on the pi network blockchain is a hundred billion pi coins yeah that's really a big number so um, i want you to let me first go back and relate with the three billion that was mined and migrated so we have seen that the total coins on the pi blockchain is 100 billion so the last pi coin to be mined will be the 100 billionth coin and here down you can see the protocol version that's a bit also more technical let's leave that for now but i want you to to put this in contrast because if the total number of coins is a hundred billion and the mined and migrated rewards are only three billion so you can put in contrast it's more of three percent only three percent of the total pi coins have been mined for these four five years we have been mining pi only three percent remember if it's not migrated it can even be banned it's not yet on the blockchain those are just points in the app when it's migrated on the blockchain now those are coins so before you verify you just have points on the cloud 
the other thing i want to talk about is searching for your public address you can put your search you can put your public address in the in the search tab up there and then you can see the assets you have the balance the limit and other other things that i'm not going to go into deep if you need a deep video about the blockchain also if you go to the blockchain explorer you can switch from testnet to mainnet and i had switched from testnet to mainnet you can see blocks transactions and payments and if you're on the blockchain explorer then if you want to see the result of I've, I've been seeing you have to switch from testnet to mainnet when you just log on to the blockchain explorer it's usually in the testnet so you switch it to the mainnet thank you for watching bye bye subscribe to this video and like this video if you found it useful bye